Hey everybody, it's People's Dude here, and welcome back to some more Tales of Vesperia. Excuse me, but would you be would you happen to be Brave Vesperia? Huh? Yes, we are. I have a bit of a favor to ask of you. Would you mind helping me tidy up this warehouse? We're a bit short on help at the moment, and it would mean a lot if you could lend us a hand. We will pay you for your work, of course. Hmm. Of course, I'm gonna help. No problem. Leave it to us. Thank you very much. Let's get started. So in the last episode, we uh, did one of these warehouses, and uh, it wasn't uh, it was an easy warehouse. They were it was an easy puzzle. Now here's where we get into the harder, more uh, what's what do you want to call it? H complicated puzzles. Not not really complicated, but uh, harder definitely. Uh, wait wait. I have to wait. Uh, what side do I have to be on to do this? Oh, right, right, right. That's my bad. Oh, my, my stupidity. I said push. Not just run into it. Let me to push this one up here. You want to push this one. Take this one. Push it two up. And uh, moving into this general area. We want to go up. Hitting that thing with our sorcerer's ring will uh, make it a... Uh, we want to throw this one over the side. Want to go down, and we want to do the same thing, but on the other side of that, because if you couldn't tell, we couldn't reach the other side, so we got to go back up over here. So we take this one and throw it up. Uh, what, what do you want to call it? Oh, we take this one and throw it up here. And we take this one and throw it towards the side. So now we're heading back down once again, and we have to do more puzzle on the bottom. Oh, wow. We couldn't see that coming. But regardless, we gotta take this one, push it all the way up here. And there we are. Now we wanna head back up. And wanna, when we're up here, we wanna take this one, push it towards the side. Oh my god, I did not just do that, did I? Did I just do that? Yeah, I did. Let's pick that up first and foremost. Let's take uh, this one and throw it into there. And we want to go up the other side, right? I'm forgetful. Oh my god, can't do anything with that. Great. Well, we want to go to the other side. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> when we push that other one down, we should have uh, been able to take it up here and go complete the path to the first uh, treasure. I, of course, as the silly uh, person I am, forgot how to do this. Forgot how to walk a couple steps to pick up a uh, lottery gel, so let's uh, keep on going, shall we? Now, down here, we'll just have to... I said, we'll just have to complete a path. Like so. To get to the, des the designated area where we have to be at the moment. So let's just move uh, these over. I hope I didn't screw myself over by pushing that one block off on the wrong side. I really hope I didn't. But now we will take a... Uh... Oh, man, sorry. This third block. And we will move it... Huh. Now I'm confused. Wait, what? That one we moved in there. Now I feel stupid. God damn it. Now I feel now I feel really stupid. Oh, one second guys, sorry. I messed it up myself. I gotta go back over there and do redo what I just did. And by that I mean I go up there and push the block that I forgot to push. So don't mind me. I know this might not be uh, too entertaining to watch, but you know, it's a part of the story. Not really, but you gotta do it eventually. So take these. I said take it, push it down here. Now that that's done, head over to this general area. Now we have to make the loop around again. Uh, give me two seconds to get over there. And uh, we will take this. Right. Well, that's a predicament, isn't it? Let's see if I can uh, recover from this nasty screw-up that I just got. 
Oh my god, no, I cannot, can I? Let me let me check from pushing other blocks down, because honestly, that 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 should not have happened. <laughs> god damn it. Uh, let's see. Nope, can't do anything with those. Can't do anything on this side. Give me just a second to see if I can mess up my uh my screw up. I would say uh you know what? <sighs> Never mind. Let me just uh see if I can fix this. Da 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 if you're wondering why I'm pushing them one at a time down, I don't want to mess up by uh, pushing too many of them down and then uh, and having no place to put them. So I just move these. And while I'm up here, I might as well move this to the area that has to be. <laughs> Alright, one to the side. Then one up. And let's head on back down to move this block into the right position. These puzzles aren't too hard, but uh, if you don't know what you're doing, they could be pretty difficult because you could mess up one block and have to start the whole puzzle over again. Like uh, I might have to do actually. That I might actually have to do that, which is gonna be quite bad. Let's see, do I wanna do that? Wait, give me two seconds. Actually, huh? This could work. This could work. Just uh, give me two seconds to get back up here. This could work. I thought I messed it up, but I might be able to salvage this uh, puzzle after all. This might take longer than the than a normal method would, but you know. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? I would speed up through this, uh... Quite frankly, I don't wanna, like, leave you guys out of the experience of having to do this. Like, grinding, I would cut out, of course. Battles, I would cut out because, I mean, that that's a time strain on me, not on... It's not a strain on anyone else besides me. Alright, let's see. Right, other side. Still lots of blocks in this uh, general area. Huh. Let me see if I can. Uh... Let's see. Let's see what that did. That's what I thought it'd do. Okay, good. Right, right, gotta go around. Can't trap myself like that. Well, actually, I could physically trap myself like that, but that wouldn't be recommended. That was the stupidest thing I could have done. Oh my god. Is there an undo button in this game like there is in Catherine? <laughs> Please? Undo? Uh, how much time are we on right now? Let me give it. Give me a second to check how much time there is. Wow, nine minutes of the episode already. This is an eventful episode, isn't it? This is an eventful episode. But side quest or side quest, and side quest must must be done. Yeah, I messed that up. Great. Yeah, sure. Why not? You don't have to fill up all six of them to do that, but I messed up, so I got to do it. Right, there's no blocks left on this side, meaning if I don't get the last block in place correctly, I'm gonna I lose. And this nine minutes of footage will have all been for nothing. 
Let me just move these for no reason. Let me see if I can salvage this with these. Nope, no way. So that means the last block has to be good, otherwise I fail. Oh, look, salvageable. Salvageable, definitely salvageable. I win. I won, guys. I definitely won. And, uh, in case you're going for a speedrun, this is, uh, don't, don't use this as a walkthrough. As you can uh, plainly see, uh, I messed up one step, and now I gotta redo. Now I gotta do a bunch more steps. But you know that's life. You mess something up, you gotta redo it. And the guys, I have officially just won. I don't even know what side quest I'm going for next. That's what sucks. Wow, all that for. Two golden whores and five lottery jobs. That, that was not worth it. Oh, man. Thank you so much. It's not much, but please accept this as a token of our appreciation. You're right, it's not much. Thank you. Brave Asperia is at your service. So now that uh, we're done working uh, Carol to the bone, our actual next destination is the next... Uh, Story based city. Sorry, guys, I'm having hiccups right now. <laughs> this all seems to happen during recording sessions. But you know, what to do. Uh, for this, we had to go north, uh, south, uh, never ever smoke weed. Uh, that's, uh, southwest. To go to Nordopalka, because, uh, because we have to. I mean, there's no other way to put it. But uh, Nordopalka is in sou the southwest uh, general direction, so let's just head over there, shall we? This is a uh, boring traveling, but in case you don't know how to get there, this is the big world map. And uh, just look at where I'm going, so you just look at the general area where I'm at, from uh, Nor Harbor to Arm Harbor. Alright. We're almost at the Desier Consonant. And there's Nordopalka. The Coliseum City. So there's Nordopolica. Yep, otherwise known as the Coliseum City. Once popular among the nobility as a place for pitting criminals against each other in brutal contest, Nordopolica is currently run by the Guild Palestrale and has become a city of entertainment. Yeah, Palestrale's just as big a guild as the Dawn's Altosk, and. Pretty. So, party in the streets every day, huh? This is gonna be great! Since when are you on vacation? Oh yeah, right. Minion's work is never done. You're the Dawn's messenger, so don't be rude to Bellius. Young man, you are looking at a veritable paragon of manners and good breeding. <laughs> We've arrived safely, thanks to you all. Once I've unloaded my cargo, the Fiertia belongs to you, as promised. Thanks! We'll take good care of her! So, are the sands of Kogor still a long way from here? They lie far to the west of Nordopolica. Aren't there some big mountains on the way there? That would make going by foot a problem. Wonder if we could get there by boat. I don't think that's possible. Not many people go to the desert. I doubt there would be a place to moor a boat. Are you seriously going through with this? I told you, the desert is really dangerous. I can't just let you go to a place like that all by your... I mean... Dropping anchor. The Coliseum City, Nordopolka. Good work, thanks. No, no, thank you. You're a huge help. Right, mutual back scratching and all that. Oh, ma Madam President, it's an honor to, to have you here. 
Excavating more ruins? I'm always impressed that the guild boss himself supervises the excavations. The, the excavation of ruins is wh what I live for. Who's that? That's Regay, the head of Ruins Gate. Ruins Gate? That sounds familiar. They're the guild that's helping the Imperial Mages excavate ruins. Oh, that's why I've heard of them. Well, I, I have friends who are expecting me, so if you'll excuse m me... He seems like a nice person. Hey, you were talking earlier about a guild that's selling Hoplone Blastia. You mean Leviathan's Claw? Do you think they might be getting their Blastia under the table from those Ruin guys? Ruin's Gate is completely innocent. How can you be so sure? They're upstanding, serious, diligent. That's what they're known for. Huh. Well, I'm off. Take good care of the Fiertia. Say hi to Tokunaga for me, too. Sure. Good luck, brave Vesperia. Thanks! Mage is selling Blastia on the black market? That is so not good. Rita? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I got some work to do myself. Oh, yeah, your letter. It's rebellious, right? Yep. Hey, why don't we all go? Good idea. She probably knows something about Pharaoh. We'll just tag along with you and say hi to Bellius. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Of course, I've only heard rumors, but, uh, hmm. What? Is something wrong? Huh? Nah, it's nothing. Where can we find Bellius? The Colosseum, probably, since Bellius is the Duce of Polystrali. Bellius. Just what sort of person is this Bellius exactly? Well, that's just it. I've heard the name often enough, but I've never met the person. Carol, do you know? I've only lived in Dongress, so I don't really know the guilds in Nordopolica. The last thing we need is another Don on our hands. <laughs> you can say that again. One Don is plenty. I can hardly wait to meet Bellius now. And now that we have uh, control of... Uh the party, first thing we want to do is head over to this cauldron. Crivens, do you come to eat Bantai... Bantai... Bat... 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 Angi... Too? Bat Angi? That's a type of fish, right? Is it any good? It used to be as bad as brine soaked boot. You couldn't eat it if you tried, but now it's rather tasty. That's the wrong accent for this. You say the fish used to taste bad and now it's good? Aye, uh, it was a wee gamey fish with nay meat otolines. But now all nice and fat all of a sudden. It makes right raw meat now. Ah. I can't speak pirate, I'm sorry. This could be caused by a local air imbalance as well. I wonder if there's an air crane at the bottom of the ocean. Judy, not again. It's terrible, hurry! Hey, what's all this hubba boot? Hubba -ba boat? Ugh. I don't know any details, simply that a bastion has been destroyed. Who did do a thing like that? No one saw their face, but apparently it was someone wielding a spear. A spear? It's that dragon freak! Oh, Rita. Rita's always running off to one place or another, isn't that right, Judy? Judy? I think Judy is very much the same way, to be honest. Eh? I don't think that's true. Where were you? A very nice gentleman invited me out to tea. What? Inconceivable. We don't need your commentary, old man. It seems there's some commotion going on. Did something happen? A blast was destroyed by the same by the same dragon riders last time. Oh, how frightening. Yeah, I'll bet you're scared stiff. It was torn to pieces. Damn it, I swear I'm going to make a permanent impress of my f imprint of my fist on that dragon freak's face. And now that that's done, we uh, go over here and talk to a slightly familiar looking character. At least to me. 
Master! Oh, Princess, it's been a while. Are you in good health? Yes, Master, you look quite well yourself. It seems you've traveled to a great many places since we last met. Yes, I've seen and heard so many things. It's been an amazing experience. But was that real experience really necessary in order for you to take the Imperial Throne? What do you mean? You've been cavorting... You've been cavorting about with people of questionable character without any regard to proper behavior or principles. Questionable character, huh? Have you given any thought to whether or not these have been the right actions for a candidate to the Imperial Throne? But Master, you said that what I needed was to have a wide range of experience. There's nothing wrong with broadening your horizons. The problem is all of your own actions. My own actions? It's a question of whether or not you've been conducting yourself in a manner fitting the sacred role of Empress. I'd like you to re-examine the actions that you have taken since you left the castle, and consider whether or not they're truly the correct actions to take. Well, that's lovely. What a self-righteous old geezer. I didn't notice that Addis the last time we met him. Is he always like that? Yes, Master Drake has always been very strict. I'm pretty used to it, though. But really, he might just be the reason I'm traveling with you. I mean, I want to prove myself to him. That's just a guess, right? I'm sorry, actually. No, it's fine if you're just guessing. It's true that you want to prove yourself to him, right? Yes. Alright, then you should set him aside and give him a piece of your mind someday. Okay. And now that that's all finished with, uh, it's time to head into the Coliseum and see what this bellies is all about. Circle. Sorry, I had to do that. Nobody saw me get stuck on the way around her. But anyways, we're in the Coliseum now. In like about two seconds, sorry. Uh, are we there? Are we there? Are we there? Yes, we are. And guys, I think this is a good stopping point. So guys, this has been People's Do for Tales of Vesperia. And I'll see you guys for the next episode. See you guys later.